Hello everybody, how are you? Welcome back to Storytime. Tell me this, did you eat any pancakes this week? How many? How many did you have? We had lots in our house. We really like pancakes and we made lots this week. Today we're going to hear another parable that Jesus told. A parable was a kind of story that Jesus told to explain things to the people that he met. Jesus was telling his disciples a parable about the kingdom of heaven. Jesus said that the kingdom of heaven was like a person who owned lots of fields where grapes grew and other things grew. Maybe a bit like a farmer. That person was called a landowner. So whenever the grapes were ripe, he went down into town early one morning, six o'clock maybe, to find some men to help him to pick the grapes. He said that he would pay them one silver coin for their day's work. That was a fair wage, it was the right amount of money. And they agreed to come and help him. Later that day, maybe, nine o'clock in the morning, he went into town again and there were some more men there and he said, can you come and help me? I will pay you what's fair for your day's work. And they said, yeah, we'll come and help you. And again, the man went into town at 12 o'clock and, and again at three o'clock. And he found more people to help him because there was so much work to be done. And he said to each of them, I will pay you a fair amount of money for your work. We got to five o'clock, which was nearly the end of the working day. And the man went back into town and he got more people. And he said, come and help me in the vineyard. There's so much work to be done and I'll pay you for your work. And they said, yes, of course, we'll come. We'll come and help you. So when the day's work was done, the landowner asked all the men who had helped him to line up and he would pay them, starting with the ones that came in at five o'clock and then the ones that started work at three o'clock. And after that, the ones that started work at 12, oops, and then the ones that started work at nine, and lastly, the ones that started work really, really early in the morning and that had been working really hard all day. He got them all in a line and he said he would pay them. And he gave the first man one silver coin. And then he gave the next man one silver coin. All the men who came to help were given one silver coin. That was what they had been promised. Finally, the men who had been working in the field all day came to get paid. Well, they thought they should get more money because they had done more work. They had been working all day, but do you know what they got? That's right, one silver coin. Well, they grumbled to the landowner. They thought they deserved more because they had worked for longer. And the landowner reminded them that he had kept his promise. He had promised to pay them one silver coin for their day's work. And that's what they were getting, a full day's wage. The men were upset because they didn't think it was fair. But here's the thing, God's kingdom isn't always fair. And that's a good thing. If we got what was fair, none of us would be able to go to heaven. It's 
not about how many good things you do more than someone else. We only get there because of Jesus. Just because we do lots of good things doesn't mean we deserve heaven more than anyone else. Remember that because we have Jesus, we have more than we deserve. Our next story today is called Oliver Who Would Not Sleep. Oliver Donnington Rimpington Sneep couldn't and didn't and would not sleep. It wasn't that he was afraid of the dark or monsters or robbers or sounds from the park, but that Oliver Donnington Remington Sneep liked to stay awake more than going to sleep. After his parents had said goodnight, they tucked him in and turned off the light. Straight away, Oliver bounced out of bed. He painted, he drew, did magic and read. He raced his cars, then he raced them some more. And just as he blasted his rocket, he saw the night with rooftops and trees and an owl in flight. Then Oliver's rocket flew fast and flew far over houses and cities and up to the stars past the moon and past comets, till it landed on Mars. A quiet and gigantic place smack in the middle of darkest space. Oliver stood in amazement and Oliver stared without being the slightest bit scared. Suddenly, A streak of light across the sky was shining bright. Oliver saw his house far away and wanted to go back home and play. Through outer space, over mountains and seas, through clouds, over rooftops and branches of trees. The rocket soared back to Oliver's room where all of his Cuddlies looked cosy and warm. Bat and Owl, Fox and Ted were waiting for him to climb into bed. So with a great big stretch and a great long yawn, Oliver Donnington Remington Sneak Finally, 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 finally fell fast asleep. (laughs) That's a good story for bedtime. I hope you've enjoyed our stories today and I hope you'll come back and see us again next week.